I, I, I was surprised that a person who went to the same university that I went to, the University of Zambia, in the name of Waka in the Sami Chilema, can claim that he has got the capacity to restructure our debt. And he claims that he did economics. I don't know which economics he read at the University of Zambia. Because if he read the economics that they teach at the University of Zambia, he could have known that when it comes to issues of debt restructuring, it is not something that you can do because you've got Chonsu, or because you've got a Facebook page, or because you can go to live radio and come and talk. No. Debt restructuring is a complex process that deals with creditors, lenders, vendors, fin financial institutions, tax authorities. Mm -hmm. It's a complex issue. It is not something that you can go and do on your Facebook page or something that you can go and do on a radio station or something that you can tweet about. Debt restructuring is a complex process. And let me just be very categorical. Mm -hmm. One, every country requires financial advisors when they are borrowing or when they are negotiating their loans. Yeah. Or even when they are negotiating their loans. Every country. And I'm talking about the United States of America. I'm talking about France. I'm talking about Zimbabwe. I'm talking about Zambia. All countries, when they contract debt, they engage financial advisors. They engage financial advisors to help them with negotiations because these are complex deals. What is debt restructuring to begin with? Now, debt restructuring is a process that allows an entity or a sovereign entity such as a country to renegotiate their debt with their lenders, with their vendors, with their creditors, with the tax authorities, and with investors. So that one, you can deal with the issues of the interest rates. You can reduce the interest rates, you can negotiate that they introduce the interest rates so that you pay less. Number two, you can negotiate with the creditors that the payment period is expanded. Okay? That is what is called debt restructuring. So debt restructuring is a process that is being used for any sovereign entity to negotiate the interest rates on the debt, to also negotiate the time to pay back the debt. Now, when you are talking about debt restructuring, there are a number of players that are involved. Mm. First of all, you have to deal with the creditors, the people that gave you money. You have to deal with the vendors. You have to deal with the lending institutions, you have to deal with the tax authorities because when you are restructuring your debt, all tax authorities have to be involved. Now, let's, let's, be, let's be practical. Mm -hmm. First of all, the people that gave you money want to see you work with credible institutions that they themselves have got confidence in. That this is a credible institution that when they work with you and work with us, they will, we will be able to come up with a package that is transparent and that is beneficial to both the lender and the receiver. So the lender who gave us money cannot just wake up and say somebody at the farmer's house or someone in Chiturika or someone on Facebook who come and go and sit with the people in New York to restructure debt. How? First of all, Mr. Haka in the Samusia has got no practicing license as a data as as a, as a financial advisor. There's no practicing license. He has no capacity. He has no company. He can't even restructure the debt within UPND. He has no capacity whatsoever. There is no one actually at the international market who can even spend time to talk to Mr. Kain the climber on the issues of debt. Who is he? We are dealing with financial institutions that have lent Zambia billions of dollars. And you think that the people that gave us Eurobond, you think that the people that have given us millions of US dollars who come and sit with Mr. Hakainde on his Twitter, on his Facebook page and say, oh Hakainde, can you restructure the debt for us? Those are jokes. And he claims to be an economist who read economics at the university where I went to. It is a shame that somebody who has even gone to the doors of that school, that college, that university, can even claim to do things that he can't do. He has no capacity, he is not registered, no one can take him seriously anywhere. Even if we take him today and say, no, let's go to Wall Street, and we leave him on Wall Street, he can't even know where his hotel, hotel is. He can't even know how to get back to his hotel room. So when we are talking about debt restructuring, and I want to be very clear, we are dealing with all the debt that Zambia owes. 
We want to restructure it in order to deal with the interest rates so that we can reduce the interest rates, number one, so that Zambia pays less. Number two, we want to restructure our debt so that we can, give, we can be given enough period to repay our debt.